Hi, I'm Chris Thompson with the Ditchwich Organization, and today I'd like to talk with you about how to properly use drill lock system and tractor control. Each Ditchwich drill now comes with a drill lock system either integrated into a subsite electronics tracker and display or as a separate handheld device. The system integrated into the tracker and display was formerly known as tracker control. This video will cover all three systems. It is not a replacement for the operator's manual. Always read and thoroughly understand the operator's manual. Lockout tagout procedures help protect you from hazardous energy and provide a means to keep equipment de-energized while work is being performed in hazardous areas. Rotating drill pipe and tools are hazardous and can grab an article of clothing or hair and crush or kill you. Use some form of proper lockout tagout procedures while changing downhill tools or during other times when the drill string is exposed and workers are around it. Think of tracker control or drill lock system as your convenient lockout tagout system at the exit pit. It locks out the rotation power and hydraulic thrust within 16 seconds, therefore locking out the hazardous energy. For all systems, make sure the tracker control drill lock switch on the drill is turned to the activate position for the lockout system to function. When activated, the key should be kept in the tracker's possession. If you are not using a subsite electronics tracker, your drill will come equipped with a handheld drill lock remote and base station. The drill lock remote and base, which are incorporated into your drill, must be used together. If you are using a remote and base that were not originally matched together, a software update to the base station will be required. Contact your Ditchwitch dealer for assistance. To enable thrust and rotation, start drilling unit, Press thrust rotation, enable, disable button on drill lock remote, drill and track bore. The handheld can be kept off until ready to lock out the functions. To disable thrust and rotation. When the drill head enters the target pit or exits the ground, press drill lock thrust rotation, enable, disable button. After 16 seconds, the thrust rotation, disable indicator on the remote will come on. Hydraulic power to thrust and rotation will be disabled. Change downhold tools. Press thrust rotation, enable disable button. The thrust rotation enabled indicator on the remote will change. Thrust and rotation will function. The handheld may be powered off. If using a subsite electronics tracking system, the drill lock system is incorporated into your tractor and display. To set up the drill lock system in your TK tracker and TD display, turn on the drilling unit, display, and tracker. On the tracker, navigate to System About. Note the code, which is the last four digits of the tracker serial number. On the display, navigate to Wireless Drill Lock Remote. Enter the code from the tracker using the up down arrows and the select send button. On display, navigate to system about. Note the code, which is the last four digits of the display serial number. On the tracker, navigate to wireless drill lock base. Enter code from display using the up down arrows and select send button. Turn drill lock tracker control key to activated position. Drill lock should now be ready to use on your tracker and display. To enable, on the tracker, navigate to wireless drill lock. Select enable. Drill and track the bore until bore head enters the target pit or exits ground. To disable, on the tracker, navigate to wireless drill lock. Select disable. After 16 seconds, hydraulic power to thrust and rotation should be disabled and the drill lock indicator will light. 
Turn off the tracker. Change downhole tools. Repeat steps to enable. After 16 seconds, thrust and rotation will function. If using an older subsite electronics tracking system, tracker control is incorporated in your tracker and display. To set up the tracker control system in your older TK tracker and TD display, turn on drilling unit, display, and tracker. On display, navigate to System About. Note the code, which is the last four digits of the display serial number. On tracker, navigate to Wireless Control Code. Enter the code from display using the up, down arrows and select Send button. Turn tracker control key to activated position. Tracker control should now be ready to use. To enable, turn on the tracker. Drill and track the bore until the bore head enters target pit or exits ground. To disable, turn off tracker. After 16 seconds, hydraulic power to thrust and rotation should be disabled. The green strobe light on the drill will flash. Change downhole tools. Turn on tracker. After 16 seconds, thrust and rotation will function. If you are not tracking the back reamer's path, install the tracker control or drill lock key on the drill unit and turn to the deactivate position to override the tracker control drill lock. The features incorporated into your drill are intended to provide a convenient lockout tagout method to be used when working on or around the drill string. If you have any questions about proper use of your machine, the drill lock system or tracker control, please contact your Ditchwitch dealer. I'm Chris Thompson with the Ditchwitch organization. Don't learn safety by accident.